Okay, so next up I wanted to show you how to empty your dog's anal glands. Now not all dogs need this doing, and certainly it doesn't need to be a routine thing, um, but sometimes your dog will be showing you quite clear signs that they're having some discomfort um, around their anus. So most dogs with anal gland problems will be trying to get round to chew at the area um, and be looking their bottom quite a bit, um, or they may even be scooting their bottom along the floor, um, often over your favourite rug. So Teddy here is hopefully going to let me show you how to do it. Um, first off, without looking at his bottom, if you just imagine a clock face, um, the anal glands are at four o'clock and eight o'clock. Um, so they're kind of just off of the horizon on either side of the bottom. Um, what normally happens is when a, a log of faeces passes through the anus, it squeezes on either side and that expresses the anal glands, which adds that extra little scent to the faeces. And often that's what they're really wanting to smell when they're sniffing each other's bottoms. Um, sometimes if dogs have had diarrhea or if they're not producing quite firm faeces, it won't be expressing those anal glands as much and we can see them starting to build up. Um, they can become quite painful, so if ever you're doing this and your dog won't let you do it um, or seems particularly unhappy about things, I'd much rather you just give us a call um, and get into any trouble. So what we'd recommend you do at home is ideally get yourself a pair of gloves, get a piece of tissue and if you can, do this outside because it doesn't smell that great, especially not in your kitchen. So lifting up his tail, um, get your piece of tissue and you'd hold it over his bottom. I'm going to just do it without the tissue first so you can see whereabouts I'm squeezing, but certainly when we come to the squeezing bit we do want some tissue there. Sometimes it can come out at quite a speed and you don't really want it kind of shooting up your favourite wall. So you would kind of pinch either side of the bottom. Certainly there I can feel that there is some contents in his anal glands, but we're trying to kind of squeeze in and that will hopefully push the contents out. It can be quite liquidy, it can also be quite thick, depends on um, well, the dog really. Okay, so we've got our tissue here, just going to put that over the bottom. I'll probably keep your face out of the way, this is more of a feeling thing than a looking thing. Okay, so we did get some brown contents come out. Um, contents wise, it normally is quite a browny colour. Um, so if it's yellow or green, then it's worth ideally taking a photo and then also giving a vet a call. Um, it can be quite liquidy, but it may be quite thick. Um, certainly if there's any worries, do just give us a call and we'd much rather uh, have a chat through things than you worry about them.